Hi, it's Chester Tugwell from Blue Peak and Computer Training. Uh, today we're going to look at how to format mail merge fields with the currency format. Uh, I've kind of stepped ahead a little bit here. I've already performed uh, the basics of the mail merge using the mail merge step-by-step -step wizard. So you can see that I've got two fields here. I've got a greeting line and I've got an account balance field. And they're coming from this very, very basic Excel database. You can see I've got first name, last name, and account balance here. Now, one thing to note is that I have actually formatted the account balance field with the currency format within my Excel database. But if I was to preview my letters within my Word document, you can see that there is no currency format on this account balance field. Fairly annoying. So how do we get around that? Well, it's actually quite simple. You have to apply a switch to the field. And to do that, you right click onto the field and you say toggle field codes. So you then get this little bit of code here, merge field account balance. That was the name of our field. Obviously replace that with whatever your field name is that'll come up automatically for you. So how do I add my switch? Well, what I do is I just click after this field name. Um, making sure that I leave a space after the field name. And I tell a uh, word I'm going to create a switch. So I put in a slash and then a hash. That's just the code to tell Excel, our word that you're about to apply a switch. You've then got to state your format. Now, there are lots of different formats you can apply. Uh, but the one I'm going to do is just going to apply the sterling uh, symbol at the front. I'm going to say that I want two decimal places as well. So I'm going to leave another space, a space after the little switch code there. I put in my sterling symbol, it's the first character. I'm then going to say I want to separate thousands, if I had a very large number with a comma. So I'll put that in next. I then specify the minimum number of characters I want to show before the decimal point, and I can do that with the hash symbol. And then I'm going to say I want two decimal places, so I put dot zero zero. Okay. Now, if you want, uh, if it's not clear on this video exactly what you should be putting there, if you follow the link in the description, uh, there's something you'll better copy from the written tutorial there, so you'll better paste it into your particular scenario. But anyway, how do I get this back to showing the value? Well, what I do is I right-click here and say Update Field. And there we are, I have my pound symbol, I have my two decimal places, um, and the uh, field is formatted appropriately. Okay, that's all there is to it. Uh, thank you very much for listening.